Hey guy, how you going? It's just me again working on the caravan. Right, um, I'm going to take you in shortly, show you what I've done in the last couple of weeks. I've actually done a fair bit. Um, I'm glad you liked me like our last video, which is the holiday. That was a really nice spot, that was. Um, anyway, I've done a bit of cabinet work, a bit of painting as well, and some insulation. So let's have a look inside. And then we're going to open up... We're going to open up this box. I've already used one of these boxes. There's 24. Is it 24? Um, soundproofing, fireproof, um, insulating sheets in here. I've already used a box in here and we're going to start this box. This box should get it all done. Anyway, you're going to have a sneak peek today and we're going to put some roof lining in right where I sleep. So let's have a look. Let's move that out of the way so I can get in there. Okay, so you can see I've insulated the whole side here in an insulating material. We've gone and done, this is all one box. So that one box down there, um, it's done all that that and that and have a look at this i've got all that wide in there we've got the solar panel thing in there i've got i don't know if you want to see all this you probably don't understand what i'm doing this is that um rotary switch right so battery power will switch on this side and 240 volt power there will switch on this side so once I screw that in, I wire it up, screw it in. I wire that up, screw it in, and there'll be a nice little fascia I've made for here. And it'll either be solar or 12 volts, depending on the shore power. There's all your main switches there. I'll give you a little sneak peek. This took me a while to do this. Um, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. It gives you a bit of a sneak peek. So it sort of look, roughly look like that. And this one will look like this. If we get it right. And there'll be, that neatens it up, doesn't it? There'll be a switch panel there for all controls. Nice little fascia thing, couple of lights there. Couple of lights there. That's why that's dug out. For the lights i'm waiting on the lights to turn up so i've still got all that to do um i've sort of painted i had leftover paint in my little tray thing so i just used it all up um so there you go i haven't done anything at the front really i've had a, i've pulled that top bit out at the front um and that's going to be like a shelf all the way along all right so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this box and I want to finish insulating the corners because yesterday I put some timber in there. I'll explain to you in a minute what, what I've done. I want to get that done and then we're going to work on this roof lining underneath. So anyway, I'll go get the tripod and I'll set you up properly. Um, the insulation is actually a really easy, clean job. You just get the scissors and cut it and mark it. And it's really easy. So I'll set you up um, now, and that's a fair bit done from last episode, eh? Um, I've also got that PowerPoint hooked up now. That's properly done. That's terminated there. That's ready for the wall to go on. So I'm going to try and get all the back done first. So I can get the back floor on, and then I can concentrate on the air conditioning, ducting, and that down there. Um, the ducting for the egg... Um, this week I found out the seller cancelled my sale and didn't let me know, so I was a bit peed off about that. Um, I'm trying to dispute it and get my money back, so I'm just going to make my own vent now. They, they were really nice stainless louvered vents, but um, I'm going to have to make my own. Obviously, I'm going to have to make my own now. Anyway, I'm going to set you up and we'll do those corners. Alright, so this is the insulation box, the second one.
Alright, so I got this off eBay. Um, and there's 24 in a box, so I've ordered 48. It's cost me, I think it was 65 bucks a box. So you've got 120, 130, 130 bucks. And I should be able to insulate the whole caravan with that. Right, so, put that knife there. So I've ordered 10 mil, 10 mil self adhesive. All right, I've ordered 10 mil self adhesive. Um, it's like a really soft, like a really soft foam, a thong rubber sort of type stuff. It's actually fireproof soundproof it's a sound deadening um insulation really light like you wouldn't believe how light this is we've got to try and keep the weight down on the caravan and this stuff will stick to any surface that's clean and dry to any surface in any shape so instead of having that big thick foam you've got to cut up and you get polystyrene i hate that polystyrene stuff so this is the stuff to guarantee use this stuff Yesterday afternoon I was doing this insulation yesterday um, and being here in Victoria the, um, the air gets really cool in, in the winter, it's nearly winter and you get that bit of a chill you know and I was in here and I didn't even feel that chill and then my son made tea last night um, and he said um, tea's ready and went oh I can feel the temperature difference in here and I said really? And then when I hopped out, I realised, holy shit, it's actually a couple of degrees. You can feel it, the, the chill. There was no chill in here, and I've only done a third of the caravan. So this stuff is definitely the go. Um, they put it in cars and vans, and, you know, your heater and your conditioning works well, so it's got to work good in your caravan. Right, so I'm going to chop this up. We'll put that over here. Put that over there for a minute. Simple thing is, um, what we're going to do is chop it up and put it in here. Yesterday, I actually, yesterday I actually cut these uh, bits of wood and made them the same size as the frame and the caravan, 20 mil by 20 mil, to cut the weight down. And I've liquid nails, or oh, construction adhesive, um, and one screw just enough to hold it in there. Um, so when we put our board over the top. I'll just get this for a minute. This is our, this is actually a pre-cut, I pre-cut this just before. This is um, our MDF, 3mm MDF with a white cardboard type shiny surface on it. Um, I think we're going to skin the whole caravan with this. Um, so when I, when we've done the insulation, I'm actually going to use construction adhesive on all the frames. And then we're just going to staple it on there. So that cuts down all the screws, staples the light. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. This is going to be the actual surface. I've actually got another surface that's light that will go over the top. And stain resistant and that. But I'll show you when I do that on the roof. So for now we're just going to cut them. I just want to cut these and get these in here. And then we'll do the insulation on the roof. We'll do the insulation on the roof and then we'll fit this one up, up here. And then we'll go cut the other side and fit that up and then I'll show you. We'll, we'll nearly be at the end for this video. Anyway, that's another update. You get to see the insulation. I'm only insulating the spots where I don't need wiring. I still need a little bit of wiring over there near the kitchen for the water pump and that type of thing. But we we'll, that's why I haven't done that area yet. We're just going to concentrate on the bed. So, and get this done. So I really want to seal this before winter. Um, I've only got a few. That window doesn't leak. This window does because the seal's in it. And that window leaks because it doesn't shut properly. And the front window leaks because it's actually sealed not properly around. So I've got to pull that one out. I'll do that um, in another video. I might even just do it without you watching. Because I just want it sealed. So it's just going to be unscrewed. Mozzie unscrewed and then um, I just put new seal in there, screw it back up. I don't think you need to see that. Anyway, let's start cutting this insulation. It's really easy. Rightio. 
the best way I'm thinking if I can get two parts out of this so I've got me marker and we're gonna most people will probably put it that way and cut it that way but it doesn't really matter because um, what we'll do is one there one there so I'm just gonna mark that down with a so mark that down like that so I'm hoping once we do that bit there I'm hoping we can use this on the other side so we'll cut that we've got these really big scissors so this is how easy it is to cut so this stuff's 10 mil 10 mil thick You wouldn't think this stuff would work well, would ya? But it does. So have a little dry fit first. Look at that. Sort of happy with that. We can shove. I just want to keep a little, few little, a bit of a gap there. Thinking what we'll do is, oh, we'll cut that across there, and I can put a straight piece across there later. Actually, I really want to see if that actually matches the other side. Let's have a look. Does this match the other side? That'd be really good if it did. Oh, look at that. See? See? Oh, there, there is a method to me madness. Except, look at that. It's dead straight. It's exactly what we want. So I'll leave that there and we'll go back to this side. So we'll stick that one on now, and we'll just make the rest of it match. So I'll just cut that now. So there's going to be a lot of little off cuts anyway that I can use. And this stuff is sort of really trying to rip the foam itself off. Oh yeah. There you go, that's insulated, done. How easy is that? And I'll just put a little patch bit up the top there. All right, so I'm gonna do this, do this pit now. I'm gonna grab another, grab another one of these. Sorry if I'm moving, I just wanna include you. All right, so what I'm thinking, this one's gonna be a bit of a bugger. I might even try and save that side for the other side. I don't know. I'm thinking we might even do that for here. Doesn't really matter because it's going to get covered anyway. You sort of want to get the best out of your insulation. So we're going to go like that, like that. I'll just do this one and then um, you sort of got the idea of what I'm going to do. A little bit of muck around, but at least you see something happening. Oop. So another little dry fit. A little dry fit there, I think. I'm actually going to go over that wiring. So that wiring is not going to change. So bear in mind, I want to keep that corner to there. And that should close it up anyway. There we go. How easy is that?
I wouldn't normally put the wiring over that, but we can cut it there if we need to get to it. All right. So I'm thinking we will just a big puzzle in it. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll do that. We'll do that. Sorry, I'm probably in your way. If you get that a get that a bit of an idea. I'm trying to show you. So you don't have to fast. I don't want to fast forward, I just want to show you what I'm doing. Should be able to use this bit for the other side now. There's that bit. Look at that, easy. And there you go, there's that bit. Always dry fit it before you put it on. You know, I stick it on and go, oh shit, don't fit. There we go. And that, my friends, is insulated. So when we put our board on, we can, um, if you don't like the gaps, which I don't like the gaps myself, you can buy um, aluminium um, weather strip, weather strip um, tape, and that will keep that will uh, make a silver barrier. So I probably will get silver tape and go over all the joins, just so there's no air or heat exchange through there, and I'll probably keep it all together anyway. Anyway, right, I'm going to do the other side. Because if you see me do that side, how, how easy, quick and easy it is. And then we're going to... I'll take it off. I'll do that side next. And then I'll, we'll cut insulation there and there. I fitted that yesterday. Because this board, this board here is going to fit right in the middle of there. And so it'll screw up. And you say, what's this hole? What's this hole, you say? That is a speaker... Flush roof mounted flush speaker, and you can see the speaker wire there. There's another speaker, and in here I've got power. Um, there is the power, and that will be a car stereo in there. So we'll have a car stereo. I'm gonna make a nice fascia with some carbon fiber wrap in there because the stereo. Is like a carbon fiber sort of looking one, it changes colors red, green, blue, purple, whatever color, yellow. Um, and that will look good. So, we will have a stereo in here so we can listen to the radio. Um, because you don't people do carry radios around and you get to worry about batteries and all the rest of it. This will have a solar powered permanent battery setup, and you won't have to worry about a radio because it's already in here. So we're going to put a radio, stereo, Bluetooth, SD card, USB, stereo in here. Um, so there'll be four speakers at 60 watts. There'll be two there. And I'm yet to still put two up the front. Oh, drop that. Right now, let me get back to fitting that insulation. Um, and then we'll get to this roof.
All right, we're gonna insulate this roof part. So here we go. So the roof, let's make sure you where the sun will be hitting on top. All right, so here I wanna really push it in there. Probably the easiest way to do it, eh? There we go. And I've pre cut a strip for here. So there we go, we've got that in, all the way along there. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, we're going to fit this um, lining board on now. Alright, so I've decided I'm not going to glue this roof panel on, we're just going to screw it up. Because um, if we want to run extra wires through there, later on um i want the ability to run wires up unscrew it and run wires in there later on all right here we go let's see if you can see you can see that all right yep <laughs> here we go Here we go. So tricky. Screw them up, don't just do it gently. You don't want to strip the you don't want to strip the wood out from with the thread of the screw. Doesn't that look better already? Get one right in the corner here. So I haven't got any screws any further because once this is all covered in, you're not gonna be able to put any extra screws, so you wanna try and get them. You gotta think about how am I gonna get it off? How do I get it off? But doesn't that look much neater? After this, we'll go cut the other piece. There we go. One more screw there. I'm a bit slow today. Here's our ceiling done. All insulated. Above the bed. Alright, last one. Take you off there, you can have a closer look. Take you off there, you can have a closer look. It's nothing really that special, but that is that is the roof lining there. So when the stereo goes across here, 
we're actually going to have a board that goes across there too, it covers it all in. Right here, and I've purposely made that with a little bit of a, a little bit bigger, because that'll push down on top of the board and seal, it won't have a gap. So there you go, there is that part. Right, we'll go cut this part now. Oh yeah, that will stop. That will stop any of that. So sorry. So there's our roof. Oh nice. Up in there. There you go. Doesn't that look good? Rodeo. Um I think that's all what we're gonna do for, for this video um because i'm gonna go out shortly anyway how good does that look there you go starting to get there so um, probably by the time you finish but by the time by the time you see the next video i'll probably have most of it all insulated because um, you're seeing what I've done, how to do it. Um, and then I'm going to get right into the wiring, get, get some wiring done. Probably try and finish off. Um, there's going to be a board in there that seals that off. Um, anyway, that is the update on the caravan so far. And it's actually, I've noticed it doesn't echo in here as much with this insulation. But anyway, you're right, yeah. Hope you like that. Um, I actually am really happy with its progress right now. Starting to get there. Alright guys, catch you later.